Welcome back to the GameSpot stage here at E3 2015. It's day three, but that doesn't mean we've got a shortage of games to show. Oh no, we have got Batman Arkham Knight. And joining me on the couch, here we've got Sefton Hill from Rocket City Games. Hello, and Ian, who is the lead, sorry, what was your role? The lead, lead designer. Lead, lead designer, designer and the game director. Huh. So, Good you know, start. the guys <laughs> to talk about Batman That's Arkham Knight. Anyway. That's on your business card. Yeah. Uh, so guys, you brought a live gameplay demo for us so we can see the game in action. Yeah. Do we want to hop in? Well, yeah, they're actually going to play it. Right in. We'll show you uh, the size and spectacle of Gotham City right there. It's pretty big. Uh, Looks fucking awesome. amazing. Cool. Aye. Yep. And one of the big things we're going for <coughs> I'm is glad Rock said they're back doing it. Aye. All of the detail and rich, richness and love that we had in the previous games yep. on a much bigger scale than ever before. See Fuck, it was basically flight, yeah. How much <laughs> Aye. texture and life there is in the world. Yeah. It's a really big thing for us. Obviously, introducing the Batmobile as well yeah. is the other big key feature we're showing. Um, and it, you'll all be playing in the yeah. week. So, uh, you see here, streets are really populated with uh, thugs. Mm -hmm. The story is basically that scarecrows threaten the city, city with a chemical weapons attack. As he does. And it's part of a ploy yeah. of all the Boosh. super villains working together nice. to take down Batman. Uh, so they decided, following the death of Joker at the end of Arkham City... Spoilers for Arkham City, Sorry, yeah. spoiler, they totally spoiled the game. I mean, if you haven't played Hi, it right now, first of all, what are you doing? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you deserved it if you hadn't played it yeah. by now. Um, <laughs> Stop. Yeah, so, <laughs> the Bad game ass. follows those events, and following the events of Arkham City, you've got this period now where the supervillains have all... With the removal of Joker, that chaotic factor's yeah. gone, and they've decided if we're going to get rid of the bat once and for all, we all need to work together. So yeah. this is a coordinated attack by all the different supervillains on Gotham City. Basically, uh, like it's populated Sinister by all Six or Spider-Man. Yeah. So what are we going to be what seeing today? So going on right on the now we've seen a little bit of action, uh, a little bit of gliding. Yeah. 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 Same with Batman, eh? Tons of shit. Because oh shit! Yeah, that's so right. Yeah, we're oh, show fuck off, uh, oh, they can the drive cars as well. The city. So jump yeah, oh, they just shocked up. <laughs> this is the most wanted wheel, which is a really important part of the game because this is where you select what you want to do. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that Cash. I'm sorry, Batman says he doesn't kill death people. Death he just run that guy over. Clearly, man. You meet Aaron Cash. You meet and they'll tell you about this mysterious body that looks like a fucking tank. Well, I suppose in a way it is. But <laughs> uh, it was just really fucking strange, like so Batman's gonna moves independently of each other than that. World's greatest detective has to do some grunt work. Exactly, yeah, he needs to do some hardcore detective work. Okay. It's always been a big feature of the Arkham games, the detective side. So this is a bit of a murder mystery, if you like. There's yeah. these bodies planted around. Oh, that was a really shoot, nice yeah. sort of like using huh. the momentum of the Batmobile to sort of propel yourself forward there. Yeah, that's a huge part of the game is kind of mixing up the car and the gliding and perfecting those two skills together. Yeah. So here we have this body here. Okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, Batman's talking back to Alfred. Wonder if you have a grip on it. Writing on the floor as well. Uh, oh, floor. Flawed. Okay. It's a mysterious body that he finds. So Batman's so going to uh, investigate. Check it out. And the game is. Fairly dark, to be honest. I thought he was just going to spray it or just take a blood sample. Three games, because it's kind of epic conclusion. I mean, that's the thing about Batman is that yes, he is a superhero. Nice. Um, but really, in the dark that's what it's cool. sense of the word, <laughs> in that Gotham is not like the airy. That airy fucking gun looks cool. Oh, you know, save me, save me. It's, um, you know, it's n it's a cartoon. It's it's a comic, but it's dark. Yeah. Like I mean, you have to read. So I mean, some of the comic books, especially, are just get. To really, really weird, dark, twisted places. Yeah, I mean, a lot of our inspiration comes from there. Uh, so just while Ian's looking at this, as he's scanning around the body, he's looking for clues. You can see the scanner that he has can look through different layers. So he's looking through, through the, the material, the skin layer. Uh, Something oh, strange about something wrong with the ear. So Batman's going to scan that and identify what's wrong with that. Yeah. It's missing. And what's happened mm. here is he's found the body. All the distinguishing features of the body have been stripped off. So he's moment. now looking for a way to identify who this is. You see yeah. on the left side of the screen, there's 2,000 masks for that ear deformity, for that specific ear deformity. And Ian's scanning around to find if there's any other elements of that body which are going to narrow down and allow Batman to sort of pinpoint oh. who this is. So we've gone through the skin level and now we're sort what of... What the fuck really is that? A ring in his yeah, intestine. Yeah, that's deep tissue layer. Uh, the muscle layer, the deep tissue layer, and then we can go, more, go one layer Where lower than that as well and oh, actually wow. look to the bone. You can move also between those three layers looking nice for clues. Nice, so you can move also between the main So he swallowed a ring, so he swallowed a ring yeah, yeah, that's part oh, of the look story. Uh, You'll unravel the story. The database the fucking the narrows it down the results and that, depending on what you find, that's cool, like. It's a serial killer <coughs> loose in Gotham. 
So can I pick What's up this plastic mission like at any point, or yeah, is it so just triggered by yeah. a certain story mission? Yeah, so basically one of the great things about go. moving to, you know, next gen, I call it next gen, current gen now, is all of these things exist uh, concurrently in the city. So yeah. anytime you want to go and investigate, you're going to come across things like this. And actually, if you listen carefully here, again, it's not something we talked about before, there's this really distinctive opera music. Cool now. shit. And as you're moving through the city, there's a cool set. The last shit in Origins was that's a good fucking shit. That I understand it was supposed to be ah. before, so obviously it was the first version, of the, yeah, version of the suit, uh, but it was fucking terrible. The whole the, the game compared to the Rocksteady yeah. ones, was just, was it was good, but it just wasn't. It wasn't the Batman Arkham series is what I know and love it. Uh, just quickly, I mean, I, I forgot to ask this question earlier, but why are they going through like databases? Who are those people? Like, is that the development team, family and friends? You could do that on fucking could be, either. <laughs> could be uh, Gotham City residents. Uh, so where is the investigation taking us now? So basically we have a number of bodies around the city. Uh, Ian's going to have a look to see if just we can find any. The great thing about the Batmobile <laughs> is where it can go. So it's yeah. not like any other normal car. So we're going to investigate up here. Oh, nice. Jump across, even huh. up to the roof of this train station. See, there's ramps around. Oh, did you see how it spread itself? Aye. Aye. When about the car is that is so maneuverable and different to any other vehicle you've played in any other game. He's out of the traction. To, uh, battle mode there to kind of really like a fucking animal. Turn. Yeah, so if you look at how tight the movement is across here, battle mode allows you this really precise movement, smashes through huh? objects, yeah. and allows you this very precise, specific movement throughout the city. Yeah. So it's something really different, and then you can go back instantly between battle and pursuit mode. Yes, because it's just holding down the LT trigger. LT yeah. any time, yeah, LT, L2 at any time. See, there's loads of secrets around the city yeah. as well. So if you go up, come up here, you bring the car up here, you need the car to blast through these walls. So lots of the secrets require you to use a bit of the car and a bit of Batman yep. as well. And even the remote control in a Batman. So the remote control in the Batmobile allows you to use them as two separate entities to solve loads of these puzzles. Quality. Is there something else really cool here with yeah. the Batmobile? So we just briefly saw there Edward Nigma, obviously not one to uh, be a bit lazy and just let other people cause trouble. Yeah. He's leaving stuff around the oh, city. He's, he's, got Riddler, yeah. uh, he's got his Riddler racetracks as well. Yeah. Uh, where he's just determined to get one over on Batman. Yeah, we can show you a bit of the racetracks as well if you want to see a really cool move here, actually, oh. is that you attach the car oh. to a building. Yeah. That is mental. The car up the side <laughs> of the building, so. <coughs> uh, again, I don't think that's something we've ever shown uh, yeah, a live no, demo before. Yeah, no, I don't think I've ever so seen that. That's awesome. Uh, it's a really cool feature that you have to sort of Jesus think about the car very differently to yeah. any other vehicle. I'm just going to fucking play that fly. For exactly, for fl for fl exactly <laughs> fly and drive about the place. It's basically going to be like Grand Theft Auto, but Batman. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, how big is uh, Gotham City now compared to... I guess the wonder like if the you can swim. Of it that we saw in uh, You've not been able to do Arkham that in City. previous yeah, tales. So Arkham City was big. Gotham City is five times, at least five times the size of Arkham City. This is this is Shit. next gen, <laughs> while keeping that same <laughs> Arkham City was huge. Detail and care uh, and, and this is five times as big as Arkham so City. Nice. As you can see here the richness of the level. It's, again, it's something that could only be done PlayStation 4, ah. Xbox One. You know, it's something what that could only say? be done on these new gen of. I uh, see. Yeah. Arkham City see, was like we go, quite big, and this ground, is five times bigger richness. than Arkham City. You mentioned about Riddler. Oh. We can even as we're right here now, we can go in and have a look at what Riddler's got. Yeah. Around for us, so we have these. He's basically challenged Batman to come to these different areas. Yeah. In fact, actually, with this one, if you come here early, and we were talking before about how everything exists in the city concurrently, if you discover this for yourself, and if you're watching this video, you'll get a good idea yeah. of watching us plan. You'll get a good idea of where to go. You can come here before Riddler's even ready for you. Oh, uh, brilliant! And he'll give you a little chance to play huh. this first track. Yeah. Bring one on before he's ready. Is that? <laughs> what are the big stakes for the day? Which yeah. he. he explains all a little bit later so all right so we're just descending down into the sewers now yeah completely seamless so everything yep. in the game is seamless there's not a single loading screen in the whole game yep. good start to finish nice because um, there was loading screens in arkham city that's really important for us to well as well because we want the world to have that lovely coherent consistent feel yes. you know and every time you hit a loading screen it it takes you out of that it makes yeah. you remember you're playing a game so I mean, uh, there's no point in trying to like be the Batman, exactly. I guess, if you're constantly pulled out. Fire Vulcan cannon, fire 60 millimeter yeah, cannon. Loading <laughs> hints and everything. So yeah, we pushed that even further than we've ever done before. Uh, seamless streaming throughout the whole game. Uh, so I feel like we're being uh, lectured a little bit. Maybe we uh, Riddler's taking making fun of us. 
And now this is the racetrack. Yeah, so these are Riddler's challenges, and some of them are more racetrack challenges, yep. and some of them are puzzles where you have to hang the back. Oh, so then there's well, puzzles in there, they're actually races. Puzzles where it's you're mental. Both. This is the very He's going to go through that window, isn't he? Yeah. Um, and you'll see how it develops and evolves as you race around as well. So Riddler's basically taunting you. He'll use any opportunity to try and talk That's to you. That's what? Hundred ways to die or something. You can time. actually wheel spin, nice. This is the Riddler story in the game. Again, without giving too much away, is something that uh, is really interesting. Uh, where that goes, he has a bigger role than he's ever had before, and it's a lot more than just collecting the trophies. There's a whole art that Riddler Cause, has. Because he, he's always sort of been on the fringe, I yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not really directly causing chaos, yeah, but, exactly. but taking part in it. And now yeah. it seems like he's really getting into the. Oh play. yeah, he's getting his hands dirty. Mate, this I'm time. loving I mean, this. Like, oh, looks good. Those looks really good. To the end of oh. oh. And actually got to the, the Oof. final, the new model of shit. Riddler's arc. You'll know that Riddler's really annoyed and really wants payback for what happened at the end of that game. So he's gone to a really extreme lengths to, to get his to get his revenge. I really wonder how he's funded all this. It <laughs> seems like quite in like an over enthusiastic way. <laughs> we do actually <laughs> explain in the game uh, partly how he even built yeah. these huge constructions. I wonder if you have uh, to yeah. control those doors as well, I know, to like no? to yeah. open them so, and stuff, uh, or yeah, if they so open when you get close. And you can see, as Ian's playing through here, how the level's manipulating and changing as he races through. And every lap he does, it gets more and more difficult. So uh, what would happen if I were to fall off, if Ian were to fall off right now? Yeah, so what happens if you do crash? Here we go, we'll show you. Oh. We do a very oh. quick reset to yep. get you back in. So we don't punish you, it's just, we, you huh. lose a bit of time because it's all yep. against the clock. But boom, you get to go again very quickly. Yeah. That was pretty um, quick, actually. It's an important yeah. thing that we want to keep it generous, you know. Big thing for us is making sure everyone gets to enjoy the game as well. Yeah. And then the more you play, the obviously the harder it gets. And some of the later richer challenges are really, really tough. Some of the toughest stuff we've ever done in the whole game. So we see here we're on lap three lap of three. three. And things it's getting are getting super getting faster, tough now. You can furious. see how quick you've got to go through these things. You'll see the floor detonates below Ian here. Oh, so wow. he needs to kind of ride it over the top. Holy shit. Oh doing remarkably well. You only died once and that's because I told you to. <laughs> once or twice before. <laughs> He's been spending the last like <laughs> ten weeks oh, rehearsing oh, that course. He oh, <laughs> fucking made so it. He like probably yeah. invented it in his sleep. <laughs> so driving along the walls, <clears> and then the last big challenge to hit the last big ramp. Yep. Move the wall out of the way, mid air, so that wall skip that out of the way, but then put the landing platform back in. Perfect. Boom. Fucking hell, so you are yeah. controlling the platform uh, as well. Uh, so, you so you have to time that more, while uh, racing. Tech points, uh, upgradable mental. trees. Let's talk a little bit more about that because that's the great thing about Batman is that he has all these abilities, all these great gadgets, all these things that he can use in his arsenal uh, to take down everybody uh, in Gotham. Yeah, so Ian's so showing you a little bit of this here. This is the upgrade system. And you can upgrade the Batmobile, the Batmobile weapons, combat, the Batsuit. Uh, there's a ton of upgrades in the game, more than we've ever done before. Yeah. Um, and you can, if you go back to Batmobile, some one of the, while you're here, some of the coolest ones, if you go one down into the uh, uh, Afterburner Recharge, you've also got the Eject one up. You don't quite have enough up for upgrade points for it, no. but the Eject is one I definitely recommend you get soon because it allows you to fire so Ejects it, dub it, yeah. it double the height. You already got mental. Uh -huh. And every mission you play, every most wanted mission you play, gives you upgrade points yeah. so if you're hunting down scarecrow and you feel like you so this is open one all day hand, Aye. you feel like you want to upgrade the batmobile or batman then go and no. do some of the most wanted missions and you can quickly boost up batman when you play through uh but it's not only the scarecrow or riddler that we have to worry about there's a new adversary in town yeah. and one that you guys actually came up with yeah let's talk a little oh, bit wow. about the arc of i don't Knight. know if i like yeah, that so the arc of Knight, it's a huge privilege for us to be able to yeah. create a new character in this universe um it's someone who we wanted to compliment Scarecrow because Scarecrow's the psychological threat. He wants to tear apart the myth of Batman and Batman's psyche. But to do that, he needs some muscle. You know, he needs someone who can confront Batman as a physical opponent. So the Arkham Knight is that. He's someone who commands this huge militia force, this huge drone army. And he, the two of those team up together are what provides such a tough challenge for Batman. And it's kind of a, it's sort of strange in the sense that although it's our most epic game ever, it's by yep. far the biggest game we've oh ever yeah. made with the most content we've ever made. 
The story is our most huh. personal story we've ever told. Wow. Like, this is the neck of the penguin there. Everything Aye. it means to be Batman. They want to destroy the myth of Batman. So it's a very much a a much more like Arkham City. We went for kind of an ensemble. Like how it's just sort of yeah, spends. A really yeah, it's a constant stuff there. Yeah. Dedicated attack on everything it means to be the Batman. So it's in a sense an epic game, but there's quite a lot of the Arkham Asylum DNA yeah. in this game as well. I mean, one of the things that we haven't really seen in Arkham Knight, and obviously the game's out in a couple of weeks. Uh, is the claustrophobic predator room style gameplay. Yeah. Um, but you have got things like the fear takedown. Yeah. So we know that those elements are definitely still Oh, they're there. in there, yeah, yeah. And, and it's, oh, it's nice. one of the things that oh. we kind of wanted the players to experience themselves quite a lot because they're so dynamic. Uh, you just remote controlled the battle game. Oh, nice. And that's actually something that the Arkham Knight really brings to the party is that we have an adaptive AI system. And as you play those rooms, he studies the tactics you use. So if you're doing silent takedowns, he'll tell his guys to buddy up. If he sees you moving around in floor grates, he'll tell cool. his guys to start mining Aye. the floor grates. Yeah, AI is actual so if you use a tactic intelligent. Much, he notices that and starts counteracting your tactics. So you have to kind of switch your tactics dynamically as you play. Yeah. And one ah. of the things we do, like, so the nice. enemies are also more aggressive. They also have um, sentry guns they deploy. So if they detect that you're doing too many takedowns in an area, they'll deploy a sentry gun to block that off. Try and make you uh, switch things up. Good, it just makes it more challenge, uh, isn't it? Uh, I mean, it's one of my favourite boss fights ever, is of course the Mr. Freeze boss fight, yeah, and yeah. that you can't use the same thing twice. Yeah. And I believe I know what's going to happen here. This is an example of your dual play. Yeah, that's right. So we have Nightwing here as well. So one of the big things is Catwoman, Nightwing, Where? and Robin fighting alongside all three of those. At different I saw it in the trailer, but I've not seen... Nightwing's working with you. Yeah. Nightwing, I thought he was. Oh, there you are. Caches, so you get these great dual Jumping in and out anyway. Yeah. There you go, take him out in midair. Yeah, and when you but do oh, the nice. move, you switch between the characters as well. Oh, so you can switch um, between players as well. Uh, it's nice to be able to like welcome these faces back again as playable characters. Yeah, so this is the first time they've been fully integrated into the story. Because uh, you, well. you can so all play really Nightwing on Arkham City as part of DLC. Seamlessly as you saw That's cool. Straight in through the way you switch from player to player. And just fucking people up. In and the two of them are oh, nice! You can actually them. pick so up their weapens now. You used to never used to be able to do that. Hey, that's, the, that's what I done at the start. I grabbed the bat uh, and kicked the fucking like, three it's people there. Snap yeah. the bat so across his face. Um, it's all about Batman, yeah. and it's about the way Batman interacts with these other characters. Stop being um, a pussy, jumping a bit of fucking. Mate, he's a ninja. I don't give a shit. Of course. Well, Stephen and Ian, thank you so much for bringing Arkham Knight onto the games on stage. When is the game out? Because it's really soon. Yeah, that's right. one of the great things is E3, you're normally waiting a year to play yeah. stuff, right? Well, this is out next Tuesday, June 23rd. Wonderful. Thank you guys so much. Oh, man, uh, guys, course make that sure is. you stay tuned yeah. here at the Gamespot stage at E3. More awesome demos coming right up. That looks really good. Yep. I wasn't too fussed about it until I seen that. <laughs>